Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today we're taking a look at the 2023 Subaru Impreza Touring. So they only offer the Impreza as a hatchback here in Canada now. No more sedan. 2022 was the last year that you could get a sedan Impreza. So we also don't see a whole bunch of crystal black silica vehicles. This is one of the few that we get. So in the Touring, one step up from the entry level, they are halogen headlights with LED fog lights. We get 16 inch alloy wheels. When you go up to the Sport, you get 17s in the Sport Tech, you get your 18s. 16s are the smallest wheel that come from factory on the Impreza. And you've got the Continental Pro Contact TX tires on them. They're mud and snow rated all season. Hatchbacks, very, very practical. And that is because of the rear. You can fit a lot of stuff in a trunk, but the opening at the rear of the hatchback Impreza, very, very practical, very, very tall, wide. And even with the third row up, seats are like, there, there's a lot of space behind here. Privacy cover, that's a standard piece of equipment on the Touring model, not an accessory. And should you need to, you can actually remove it. It shows right there, that's an arrow. And what I like to do to remove these, put my hand and I pull and it telescopes. And then I just angle it out if I need to. Sim similar style on the Crosstrek. Halogen cargo light. We've got grocery bag hooks on either side. Now you do also have the two hooks on the bottom. You can get a cargo net accessory that attaches to all of them, but the top ones on their own are grocery bag hooks. Underneath the false floor, you've got your spare tire, your eye bolt for recovery, which you would put in the little square right there. There's one on the front driver's side as well, or front passenger side as well. Now I get asked about these little loops all the time. You've got these little cutouts, and that's so if you take the privacy cover out, you can stick it under here. It doesn't sit flush, but you put the little loop and it's angled and that's enough room for it. So this isn't sitting directly on top of that uh, privacy cover, tonneau cover, whatever you want to call it, and crushing it. You've got a little bit of space under here. You do also have hard physical tie downs in the front corners and you just pull down, they're there. Easy to secure stuff. Tethers on the back, put a child seat in any of the three positions. Third seat belt comes out of the back, runs through this piece that I always get asked about. And then there's two connections on the bottom. You can see there's two buckles there and two buckles there. The one on the right, that's a special one. And that's what you lock that small hook into. So everyone gets a three point harness in this. Now, if you need more room, lift the hook and push. And you can see the passenger side went down more flat. That's because that front seat's reclined. There's a little bit of an angle here, but nothing overly significant. That crystal black silica, I don't, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but that crystal black silica has a lot of metallic in it. I really like that look. We don't see a whole bunch of these. You got a color matched shark fin antenna. And if you want, you can get crossbars. These little doors flip up. I like to use something like a flathead screwdriver detail tool pop it up they bolt right in it's very very secure so on this toggle you can tell if it's locked if you can see red it's not locked can't see red that means the seat's locked in place second seat so good room even for a compact car you've got good headroom good leg room now this front seat is back where i would sit it's got fairly long legs so still have adequate room you do also have the anchors for child seats and they are indicated with the little buckle there. And you can see the red one's your normal one and then this is for that little hook for the other seat belt. Now, if there's only one or two passengers, armrest folds down, two cup holders. And on the back of the front passenger seat, you get a map back pocket. In the doors, bottle holders with a little bit of storage, access to your power window. You get the faux carbon fiber trim. This is soft touch leather. It's quite nice. And then if you need it, need to keep someone in the vehicle, you got your child lock. Down is locked, up is operation as normal. 
and all of the Imprezas team crafted in Indiana. So these are one of the vehicles that comes from our Lafayette, Indiana plant, along with the Legacy, the Outback, and the Ascent. Now, we do have a keyhole right there. So in the fob itself, there is a key in the event the battery in the fob dies, you can still open the vehicle. And it is a little harder to do this one-handed, but you just press on this little silver square and pull out and there's your key and you can unlock the door. Other than that, it is a proximity key. It's running right now, so it won't lock, but if I wanted to lock it, so long as the key's in my per on my person, press and hold, it's beeping saying, hey, you can't do that because it's running. Stops as soon as I open it. Door card up front looks pretty much just like the door card in the second row, apart from more window switches and your power mirrors. A little bit more storage, but you still get your bottle holder, carbon fiber trim, extends here and onto the dash. The seat is height adjustable based off of a pump system. So as you pump it up, it raises, it does move slightly forward. As you pump down, it moves down and slightly rearwards. But good height adjustability in these cars. A Little bit more bolstering on the front seats than the rears. And it is kind of that two-tone dark on slightly lighter dark. But cloth is very, very comfortable in these cars. By the driver's left knee, I've got the ability to turn off traction control. I have a scroll wheel for the gauges. Won't make a difference right now. Turn signal. High beam flash. You can turn on your high beams. Headlights, fog lights off. It has the momentary safety switch. It can't default to off. You actually have to hold it to turn them off. It defaults to auto, which is a good thing because a lot of people drive around in the summer, especially towards dusk, with their headlights off because they don't realize they're off. So that should help mitigate that. Steering wheel is adjustable, both tilt and telescopic. So you can adjust it to drivers of varying heart, heights and arm lengths. We've got Bluetooth and audio controls on the left-hand side, making take calls, control of one of the calls, switch your presets, our arrow navigation arrows down here. We'll change our small center display and that will show you a couple things. Like you've got the ability to change settings, Estimated distance to empty, fuel economy, time running. Most people like the digital speedo. Right hand side, we have our adaptive cruise and our lane centering. Both of those systems use the two color stereo eyesight cameras, Subaru's eyesight system, which is amazing. Stops you from hitting things. Saves you 10% on your basic insurance here in BC because it does the automatic emergency braking portion. Lane centering will help keep you between the lines of the road. So long as the cameras can see the road lines, you can see those lines are gray that popped up. If they illuminate white, that means the cameras can see the lines and it'll actually give you gentle steering input to help keep you centered. Turn that off. The cruise, you've got four bars ahead of it all the way down to one. That's the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you'll follow at if you catch up. Four bars at 100 kilometers an hour is roughly 150 to 180 feet. It's a pretty safe following distance. We've got intelligent and sport drive modes. Intelligent for everyday sport for more spirited driving or passing and you don't have to be stopped to turn it on You just press that and you can see The yellow lines a little bit more aggressive than the blue yellow is sport blue is intelligent. You can see that Heated steering wheel now it does not heat between the seams up here Just kind of where you're supposed to keep your hands a little dead spot right there, but it gets absolutely cooking It's up to 40 degrees Celsius Information screen up here Right now, it's showing us fuel economy. We're sitting here, it's not very good because we're not doing anything. Date, time, you've got the ability to change settings, what safety tech is active. You've got your gauges, you can change those. Weather, that's part of the three month trial of the satellite radio that you get, what you're listening to currently. So it depends what you wanna look at, but a lot of information is available at your fingertips. And it's also our climate control display. So it's set to high, which is 32, all the way down to 18, freezing to tropical, depending how you and your pastures want it. You can see that the airflow changes. Every time that I twist the mode dial, it'll change. And then you can see the fan strength. Below that, we have our easy to use Subaru 
infotainment system. So it is all touchscreen, but we also have physical buttons down here. So if I wanna to go to radio, I can press radio. I can press the home button there, or I can press the home button here. You do get a three-year trial to the My Subaru Connected Services. That includes the remote start from your phone. That is with most new Subarus. Under apps, you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Still have a CD player, I know. Lots of people don't see it because they're not looking for it, but it is hidden very well in there. And as soon as I put it in reverse, backup camera is gonna pop up. It does show you the top of the bumper there so you have something to relate to. And as you turn the wheel, those orange lines move, show you where you're gonna end up if you keep your wheels turned that way handy but with the visibility in this car backup camera is really just for when you're starting to get close to things in reverse visibility is great in this car from the driver position i can almost shoulder check out the back window <laughs> with the way i sit at least below that climate controls we've got our temperature fan strength this entire dial changes where the airflow is being directed we have our heated mirrors heated back window and the area of the windshield where your wiper sit has a heating element the windshield wiper de-icer is amazing. I absolutely love it in the winter. Have that on my Outback, it's great. Now, I get asked all the time, what's the difference between AC and max AC? Max AC is the air conditioning that you're thinking of, the cold. AC is conditioning the air, not necessarily making it cold. Helps move moisture around so you don't fog up, just makes it more comfortable in general. So if you get in and the AC comes on on its own, just let it do its thing. Now, if you have passengers in the back or pets and they're breathing hard, fogging up the back windows, turn on the AC, it should help dissipate some of that. It's not gonna get rid of all of it, but it'll help. Below that, little storage cubby. This is rubberized. Hopefully to stop your device from sliding around, but you've got an aux, two USBs, and a 12 volt. The USBs, if you're plugged in, will allow you to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, or you can play music. It'll also charge your phone. The aux port's obviously just for music. Automatic CVT transmission. You can go into a manual mode. You can see it says first gear there. Paddle upshift. Allows you to go to second, so you can start in second gear if you needed. Downshift, left paddle down, right paddle up. So you can select your own gears if you want. I really like the downshifting. I used it going down the hills all the time, or even coming to a stop. Heated seats, high and low for both the driver and passenger with the cloth. Heats up super quick, very, very nice. Up top here, we have our lane sway assist. That's part of the eyesight safety system and automatic emergency braking also part of the eyesight. So this is the portion that saves you 10% on your basic insurance. This is gonna beep at you if you start changing line, lanes or crossing lines without signaling. To turn that off, it's a press and hold about three seconds. So press, it'll beep. And on the bottom left there, it's orange and says off. Same thing to turn it back on, press and hold. Red SOS and the blue roadside button you'll get a little green light when the vehicle's registered and the My Subaru Connected Services is set up. SOS is exactly that, press that, you'll talk with someone who will actually be able to get you the help you need. Blue is calling for roadside, you need your tire changed, you ran out of fuel, something like that, they're there to help you. It does require cellular signal, just so you're aware, it's not satellite, there are gonna be areas that are more remote where you cannot access this, just so you're aware. You've got vanity mirror, along with an adjust, a removable mirror or adjustable mirror, and you've got your sunshade coming out. To turn this off, it's just, so long as you're in park, foot doesn't even have to be on the brake, my foot's not on the brake anymore. It says goodbye. You've got the rear seat reminder telling you to open the rear seat and make sure you haven't forgotten anything, and that's because I opened the rear door. Now, let's take a look under the hood. So, people always look for these right here reach back there you go oh and I guess it is important to note fuel door release right there Subaru hasn't moved the Impreza to the whole driver connected if the driver door is locked the fuel door is locked portion yet that'll probably be in the 24 that's my guess haven't seen one of those yet though now to open this go to the right of the Subaru logo hand in facing down move from right to left and you can open it and that's the latch right there. And it's a two liter engine. This should look very, very familiar. Just like every other Crosstrek video I've ever done. We've got brake fluid, washer fluid, oil, coolant, dipstick. So pretty much everything the average consumer is gonna touch is in yellow. Oil filters up top, technicians love that. You can actually see the serpentine belt and you have easy access to your air filter if you wanna change it yourself. 
And I always like to drop those. I don't like putting them down and pushing on them. I feel like I'm gonna dent the hood and I don't want that. So that is a brief video overview of the 2023 Subaru Impreza Touring Hatchback. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about this car, any of the cars in our lineup, any of the technology, please put them in the comments below. I'm always looking to answer you guys' questions and make you new videos. So again, thanks for watching. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. Talk to you guys soon.